Hello guys, this is Zhi Cheng from the Tech Revolutionist. It has been a while and finally in our labs today we have the brand new NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 graphics card. As many of you know, the GeForce RTX 4000 series is actually based on the new Ada Love Lace GPU architecture from NVIDIA, which promises really excellent performance and improvements over the previous generation. Uh, today in our labs, it's the flagship MSI GeForce RTX 1490 Supreme X, which is actually the top of line from the brand. It will feature the best of the best in terms of cooling performance and features. And in today's video, it's not focused on performance, but rather we are just going to focus on unboxing and find out what's actually inside the box. First up, uh, after opening up the box, we actually spot the MSI mouse pad, which is like swag that MSI gives to us. We also spotted a very special power connector. This is actually the new PCIe 5.0 power connector, which is used to reduce cable clutter. NVIDIA has decided to use this instead of a typical uh, eight pin uh, port. And specifically, they require four uh, PCIe eight pins power connectors to be converted, uh, providing the power for the graphics card. The GeForce RTX 4090 has a 450 watts TGP, meaning that you need to have at least a 850 watts power supply unit. Just by looking at the board, you'll probably understand that the RTX 4090 is a huge cut. That's why the motherboard probably cannot support its weight. Uh, MSI has also included a GPU holder in the box to further support the graphics card so as to prevent the motherboard from getting damaged due to the sheer weight of the graphics card. So finally now we can move on to the actual graphics card. On the first look we can see that this card is actually huge and in order to properly cool the RTX 4090, MSI has included something known as the Tri-Frozer 3S Thermal Design which really is a comprehensive set of thermal dissipation features built right into the graphics card. This card is actually really so big that despite it having a 3 slot bracket, the physical card actually extends over to the 4th slot. It's also usually not so tall but this card is actually taller than expected, taller than usual cards. So you really need to make sure that your case or your PC case can support this card before you make this purchase. And in terms of cooling, I think really the card shows what it is really capable of with really really huge heat sinks. They are all connected through heat pipes. In the middle, there's a section of uh, square shaped heat pipes which makes the maximum contact with the GPU. And also, they use make use of vapor chamber technology and a superb airflow from the top fans blowing down directly onto the cut. And of course, at the back of the cut, we do see a metal back plate with uh, thermal pads uh, specifically interfacing between uh, the different components as well as the back of the back plate for even better cooling. In terms of I.O., I think it's quite straightforward. This graphics card has got three DisplayPort outputs and one HDMI output. I think one of the key interesting features of the MSI RTX 4090 Supreme X is that it actually comes with two BIOS. So the BIOS is actually not meant for safe over, but in fact, there are two different separate profiles allowing you to switch to suit your requirements. The first profile is called the silent profile which allows the fans to run at a slightly lower speed and of course you will get something that's more quiet. And at the gaming mode, the GPU temperature can come down so that the uh, graphics card can run at its full performance. So with this quick introduction, you have a better understanding of what the RTX 1490 is all about. I'll see you guys next time.